the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. What is perhaps the simplest principle of moral conduct? The Gospel lesson for today, the second Sunday of Luke, provides the answer for us. It is the golden rule, and you should all be familiar with it. Remember this, Luke chapter 6, verse 31, and it reads as follows, Do unto others as you would have them do to you. Taught by Jesus. It is a case of simple justice to return like for like in positive terms. Our Lord goes way beyond not doing bad things to others and raises the bar for us to do good things for others. Yes, don't steal, don't lie, don't cheat, don't hurt. But above and above that, give generously to others. Tell the truth when you could keep silent. Be honest. Help others who need help. And most importantly, pray for others. As a universal ethical principle, the Golden Rule seeks to guide people to fulfill their needs their desires and dreams without tremendous conflicts causing hurt among them. How? By remembering to treat each other with understanding and fairness. All human beings have the same needs and shortcomings. Do for others just what you want them to do for you. This is a basic principle of morality presupposing a commonness and brotherhood among all human beings. Important as the golden rule is, Christian morality, which actually goes and, and does much more and speaks much more about uh, what we need to do, even more so than the golden rule. So Christian morality involves something more than the idea of fairness. What is this more? To treat others with love, goodness, and compassion, no matter how they behave. Christ's golden rule is taking one's neighbor upon oneself, just as the Good Samaritan had compassion on the wounded Jew, a supposed enemy and interrupted his own journey in order to help him. Christ himself is the supreme model of the Good Samaritan, seeking to bind and heal humanity's wounds and suffering persecution in the process. He voluntarily submitted to abuse, insults, beatings, betrayal, and crucifixion by those that he came to help. From the cross he prayed to God, forgive them, Father, they don't know what they are doing. Christ lived out his own teaching about love. He said, the greatest love a person can have for his friends is to give his life for them. Thus Christian morality is anchored not merely on the principle of fairness, but mo much more on the principle of outgoing sacrificial love. I would like to share with you a meditation as I conclude. The kingdom of God is not a limited geographic place, but it is the eternal holy presence of God in all creation. The Bible calls it the glory of God, the power of God, and the will of God. It is a kingdom of light, grace, truth, and love. This kingdom is known to us through Christ. 
who reigns in it as the King of love, who teaches his followers, seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and all other things shall be added to you.